The Nike Training Club app has literally been my saving grace for my health and fitness during this entire pandemic. And in this video, I wanna share with you guys exactly how I use it to stay lean, some of the features I liked and disliked, and honestly, what set it apart from the rest of the apps that I made a video on a little while ago. So let's get right to it. What's up everybody, it's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on the best tech and tips to help improve your health and productivity. If this is something of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So how did the Nike Training Club app help me stay lean during quarantine? Well, at the beginning of the pandemic, I basically didn't work out for an entire month. The gym was closed, my motivation was low, and I was a hermit. I didn't wanna leave my apartment, I wanted just to stay home, stay safe. And after a while, I saw that it was affecting my body. My weight was fluctuating, I was eating unhealthy, and my energy levels were low, and I knew I had to change it around. So I started searching the app store for a really good fitness app that I could do at home that would be a nice kind of entry level into getting back into working out. And that's when I actually came across the Nike Training Club app. And the first part of the app that really helped me stay lean was their programs. And what I really loved about their programs was that it was a full on system basically. They had the video walkthroughs where they had a trainer who was working out with you, kind of leading you through the workout, giving you motivation and giving you a timer when you need to switch and when the workout would end. And then they also had articles for every single week where it went over different motivational tips and tricks and also recipes anything that helps you continue to stay healthy during that entire week. And the program that I started off with was the Breakthrough Challenge, which was a four week program, five workouts a week that really challenged your strength, your conditioning, your core, your mobility. And it started you off doing like really beginner sets and reps. And then it really increased each week until the end of the month where basically you were being gassed, but you were prepared for it. And that's what I really enjoyed was that I felt like I was getting back into working out and getting back into the shape, but I was able to do so at a gradual pace, which was really helpful for me. And again, I really felt like I was working all aspects of my body. So overall, I was being healthy. I was working on my core. I was building more of my strength and I was working on my heart health. And I think that's super crucial when it comes to any type of workout program. And the second way this app helped me stay fit during this pandemic were the one-off workouts. So once I finished the Breakthrough Challenge program, I wanted to be able to do workouts and kind of pick and choose which ones work for me based off the time that I had and based off of the specific goals that I wanted to work on. There is a variety of exercises and workouts that you can do. You can choose anything from endurance, strength, mobility, yoga. And then on top of that, you can choose what type of muscle group. Do you want to work out your abs? Do you want to work out your shoulders? Do you want to work out your lower body? Then you could filter by how much time you have available. So that's super clutch when it comes to the fact that you don't have enough time to work out. Now for what I liked and didn't like about this Nike Training Club app. For the things that I liked, I love the fact that the production quality of all the videos, of all the exercises and workouts were amazing. You know the apps that have basically just the pictures of the exercise? They have like two pictures side by side of like the movement and I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do? You know, how am I supposed to follow this? And I think that Nike did a great job of really showing you what type of workout and exercise that you need to do. They have a trainer there who is helping you to do the correct exercises, to feel in the muscles that you're supposed to feel it in, and then also regressing when you need it to. And again, I think that's super important for beginners who are just starting out, and also people who are maybe intermediate or advanced and are finding ways to activate their muscles more than they did beforehand. And the second thing that I love were how tough those workouts were. Even some of the beginner ones are tough, but it's, it's still accessible because again, they give you the regressions for the exercises, there were some times where I just felt gas and I was like, how, how are they doing this? And again, you're watching the trainers do it. There's no cut scenes. And I'm like, how are they doing this? These guys are really fit. But it also encourages you to keep working out and exercising so you can get to that level as well. And then what's cool is at the end of the workout, you can actually say where you did the workouts and the effort level. And I would say that on average, I put seven to 10 most of the time. The third thing I loved was the connectivity with technology. Now the Nike Training Club app worked seamlessly with my Apple Watch, which I think is super cool. So whenever I start a workout on my phone, it would automatically pop into my Apple Watch and I could see how many calories I was burning, you know, where I was in the workout and then also what my heart rate was at. And then once I was done, it put everything into my Apple Health app and it was a great integration. And I think, again, that's what makes wearables so great. And I think what will really help for the future of wearables is the connectivity of everything. And now to what I didn't like, and I wouldn't really say what I didn't like, but I, what I wish there was more of. The first thing was, even though they had a great library of workouts and exercises, what I really wanted was a little bit more of an update. So I kept kind of finding the workouts that I really liked, and I would stick to those few, but I wish they added more workouts to this 
list. And I, I guess I was a little spoiled with Peloton where they had daily workouts coming out all the time. And I know that could be a little aggressive, but even though it was weekly, if Nike was just putting out weekly, great workouts at the level that they did, I think they would literally be perfect. And the second thing I wish they worked on was the actual recommendations. Imagine this, you finish your workout from the app, there's a notification on your phone that says, hey, great work, you burned 300 calories, you know, tomorrow let's try to hit 400, but then don't forget to have a protein shake at the end of the day because your calorie levels are low. That would be sick. Like it's like having, again, having a health coach, a personal trainer on your wrist. And I think if Nike or whatever fitness company or health sports company can figure that out, I literally think it would be game changing. However, ultimately, I think the Nike Training Club app is basically there. And I think it's the best app compared to all the other apps that I tried. One, because of the quality. Two, because of the connectivity with all the technology that you have. And was great in terms of workouts. And I know a lot of people love the Peloton app, but for me, I've been using the Nike Training Club app and that is literally why I can still say that I'm still lean right now and I still was able to maintain the muscle that I had. So definitely recommend you to download it. I'll put the link in below. And one of the biggest things that a lot of people ask me is which apps are free? Everything in this Nike app is free. So go ahead, check it out, download it. It has been game changing for me. And yeah, I know you guys will enjoy it. I know you will benefit from it. So that basically wraps up today's video. Question of the day, have you tried out the Nike Training Club app? If so, let me know what your favorite workout is in the comments below. I hope this video was extremely helpful. If it was, go ahead and compel that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. Embrace the hype. Woo!